Hi there, everyone. I am JP, and I'm an independent game developer, and I'm working on I'm working on uh, a still unannounced game project. But I also like to do things like what this video is about, which is uh, a, a strange bot that takes random Doom screenshots. I do those sorts of things, you know, when I have a spare moment or something. Uh, if you like the idea of this kind of thing, then I have a Patreon campaign where you can support me uh, and help me remain independent. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So what is this thing? It takes random Doom screenshots. What does that mean? So there is a an archive online of every Doom map and mod and thing like that that has been released since, more or less since the game's inception. Um, on doomworld.com slash idgames, and I think it's a mirror of like a, a, an archive that id software used to used to keep. And uh, it has this random button, um, and you can that will just take you to a random file, which is cool, you know. And now you're looking at a map that somebody made in 2006, so that's cool. Um, there's also uh, one of my favorite um, tumblers is called Stochastic Planet. And this is something, well, yeah, the, the, it sums it up quite well. Uh, Adam Kadra, who is also an interactive fiction author, uh, wrote this thing. Uh, and what it does is, every day a PHP script picks a random spot on the landmass of Earth. The nearest photo to that spot is posted here. And so, yeah, it picks, you know, you can see the latitude, longitude coordinates of everything, of every spot that it picks here. And then it just looks for all the geotagged photos that are posted online and available for sharing. And you just get this fascinating array, you know, like we're looking at a place in India, a place in Senegal, a place in a pretty remote looking part of Canada. Um, and so, yeah, this is one of my favorite, like, little Tumblr things. And I, every time it puts up a post, I see it in my RSS feed and it sort of transports, transports you to this different place. And I love that. And uh, a while ago, I made a, uh, a Twitter bot called, um, called Wadbot that uh, a while ago would just post th uh, the name of a level whose name was registered on the Doom Wiki, on doomwiki.org. But I had always wanted to do something more like Stochastic Planet, but I had never really know. I had never really figured out how. So I was like, hmm. And so I did this. I, I created this bot like you know a year and a half ago or so. Uh, and more recently, I returned to it. I started thinking about it again, and I had sort of like the right amount of time for a spare time project. So I started thinking about it again. So what I came up with is what I'm about to show. What I'm about to run here. And let's just run it here. This is a Python script that talks to a custom build of GZ Doom that uh, I've given the ability to take random screenshots. And you can kind of see how this works. So the first part of what this is going to do, it's just going to download a random file off of id, the id games archive here. Then it's going to boot that up in GZ Doom. And then it's going to warp around the level. OK, and that was not a very exciting looking screenshot. So I'm just going to run it again here. Um, and maybe we'll get something a little more interesting, this map. And so you can see, like, every single frame, it's warping to a different... Okay, and that's terrible. I'm, I'm really not showing off my uh, my algorithm very well here. But, um, so yeah, and it's warping around, warping around. And every single frame, it warps to a different point of view within the level. And you can kind of see what it's doing in the top-down view here. And it's looking for the place that has, like, the highest scene complexity. And then it, like, scrapes some info off of the page... Oh, goodness, no, GZ Doom crashed. Um, yeah, and so it tries to get, you know, it, it follows the link from the id games archive thing here, and it gets things like the author's name and the date that the wad was, uh, that the mod was, was, was published, and then it uh, takes that screenshot that it took and submits it to Tumblr. Because uh, this is a good, you know, like this is sort of an easier way to queue up images and post them and stuff than just Twitter. Uh, and also Tumblr has a feature where you can auto post uh, every time you every time something on, t on your Tumblr gets posted, you can auto Twitter that. So yeah, these are the screenshots that it just took. And they're, these are in these are drafts in my Tumblr thing. And the only bit of human involvement in this is I can click Q or I can say, yeah, you know what, actually, this is a terrible screenshot. Sorry, no offense to the guy who published this level in May of 1994. But 
That's not a very interesting looking screenshot. So I am kind of curating this a little bit, you know? I'm saying like, ah, this is, and I mean, this thing is just outright bugged. It looks like it warped to a sector that is only about eight units tall. And you can see outside the map, which is, it's sort of interesting and in just kind of a glitchy way, but it's not that, it's not that cool, all told. Um, but the ones that I do want to post, I can just say, put it in a queue. And then, uh, yeah, but everything about the post text itself is generated. So, yeah, and as you can see, th these are other drafts that have been submitted. I had it also look at Chex Quest and some, uh, some IWOD content. So this is like from Final Doom, the Plutonia episode. Uh, and if there's a map name, it will, it will post that. If it's just map 6, map 1, E1, M2, whatever, then it will just post that. It will give the name of the WOD. If it's a downloadable WOD, i.e. not one of the retail IWODs or Chex Quest, then it will just provide you a link to that so you can actually jump to this thing uh, when you see it and be like, hey, cool, I want to check that out. I want to like download it and leave a comment and whatever. So yeah, and yeah, so I think that's about, that's, that's the gist of what it's doing. Uh, the oh, source code for this is online. I have it hosted on my Bitbucket page. And actually, like because it's where the code was already hosted, I also have a, um, I also have a uh, GitHub repository where I am keeping the modified version of GZ Doom that hosts this. And I've got a little bit of info here, so you can check that out. Like, so yeah, the Python script just kind of handles like, let's find, let's crawl, let's let's follow this link and download a file. And it uses uh, a library called OMGIFOL which I guess is short for, oh my god, it's full of lumps. Uh, it, it, th that's a Python module that can sift through Doom WAD data and inspect, like, hey, what kind of, are there any maps that we could open in this thing? If not, then bail and find another, find another WAD. And if so, like, enumerate all of those maps and then pick a random one and figure out how to pipe the right settings into GZ Doom. And then, uh, and then it does a weird thing because you can't automate. Like you, this is not fully automatable. So I end up like using like this only runs on Linux for the moment because it uses this like X input emulation. Just because that's I I use Linux for all my dev stuff and whatever. Um, and it actually simulates the key press that that starts that whole process of taking an automated screenshot. Um, let me let it run a few more times here just because it's a more interesting visual than just me talking about stuff. But, um, yeah, and, uh, yeah, actually, you know what, never mind. Um, and then it takes the screenshot, and then it just kind of, like, puts all that together and submits the post to Tumblr via the Tumblr API, which has a nice Python module that makes it super easy. It's like, it's like two lines of code, basically, to get a handle to Tumblr and then post to it. Um, and then I've got like a database for the for the IWAD name specifically because those aren't necessarily like embedded in the well the names come up in the game when you look at them but the authors so I created like this little Python dictionary and this was actually interesting because like all of this data was had not been in one place necessarily so that's cool I've got like Doom one two and Final Doom so far. Uh, I'd also like to support Heretic and Hexen that won't be too difficult really. Um, let me jump over to, just because if y'all are hanging around at this point into this video, then y'all are clearly interested in the dirty, nitty gritty details. This is the C code, and I just suck, I, I just hid this away in a weird little corner of GZ Doom's code. This is something that, like, after the game renders the entire scene, we update this scene complexity value that, um, yeah, and actually... Sorry. Oh, this must have emptied out. Anyway, uh, we update this scene complexity value that's based on like the number of walls and surfaces in the level that it's drawn so far, as well as the number of sprite objects. And the reasoning basically goes, you can see this represented in the screenshots, it's like, this is an example, like, this scene doesn't have super high geometric detail, but it's got all these, like, sprite objects, and it's like, okay, something must be happening here. And it, so it really just takes a very straightforward 
kind of aggregate value. Like, yeah, it probably picked this because there's all these little, like, identical pickups or something. But also things that are super, that have a lot of geometric detail, like this staircase. This isn't a super interesting screenshot on its own, but this map all might also be kind of just bare bones visually. Um, but yes, yeah, staircases end up kind of being a little trap for it. But usually, the places where those are, like, a lot of times it does end up with, yeah, you can see what it's posted so far. Um, you know, this is like... This is actually the very start of E4M2, but, you know, there's there's interesting geometric detail going on. Um, and, yeah, and sometimes it just, you know, sometimes these things have custom graphics in them, so you get this guy's weird, like, Borat reference thing. So, yeah, and this one has a cool custom skybox that makes the level look really awesome. And this is just a big outdoor space, and this has... This is a deathmatch level with weird sector work. So, yeah, I love that. This is my victory vine when I first got it working uh, last week. Anyway, so, yeah, that's basically how this works. This is the ugly, ugly. It had been a while since I had written any C, any C code, but I basically figured out enough about GZ Doom's code base to be like, hey, here's where I can warp, and I have to, like, wait a frame for the warp to happen, and then, the like, you warp and then let the render update, and then you can measure the scene complexity and move on to the next thing. And it's just doing all this grody C++ stuff, you know? Well, this is all actually, like, this is pretty plain C, because I'm out of my depth in C++. Anyway, so yeah, you can look at that on GitHub, and then the uh, the actual, like, um, the actual Wadbot source is on my Bitbucket. And it's really just, like, one file, you know, and it does all this mess. So getting the setup going yourself would be a lot of work, and so I don't know what kind of usefulness this is. Like, the uh, the GZ Dooms uh, command is actually just... Um, yeah, let me go over to that. Yeah, it's just boot up... Uh, uh, typing. Yeah. So yeah, it's just a console command called GoodShot, and you run that thing, and it, the rest it takes care of the rest. And so it just warps around, and then it finds a spot, and then it takes a screenshot and exits. I wanted to automate as much as I could within on the code side, because like the whole keystroke simulation garbage that I'm doing here um, is like really hacky and weird. Like it's communicating to the process, it's communicating X commands to through a pipe, through a Unix pipe to the process while it's running. And, like, the code here used to be grotier before I made the screenshot as well as the quit command run on the C, the C, the C code side. So anyway, I think that's, that's a pretty exhaustive technical overview of everything that I've done here with Wadbot. So, yeah, this, I don't know, this took, like, a few days off and on of just, like, work in the evenings and it's a cool thing and i like it and i'm going to keep it running like i've already i've got enough posts queued up on the tumblr here for a good few days and so i think i can just run this as a regular thing uh you can follow it at wadinfo underscore txt on twitter or wadbot.tumblr.com and you can look at the code and i don't know yeah just tell me what you think yeah so that's so that's Wadbot. That is a weird thing. Uh, and if you've hung around this long, then thank you for thank you very much for watching. If you love what I'm doing, then you can support me at Patreon.com/jpl. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll I'll see you around. Bye.